I have another portal. Let's go through. Hopefully, a gas will be instantly killed. I'm going to teach you about how to make another portal without a diamond pickaxe. So you don't even need any diamonds. So I think most of you know that you need a diamond pickaxe to obtain obsidian, like have it in your inventory. So you generally assume that you need a diamond pickaxe to make another portal, but no. It may be a pain searching diamonds for hours just to get a diamond pickaxe, get prepared, and finally go to the nether. You can skip an important step, finding any diamonds. All you need is a secret, <laughs> but easy to find location and four iron ingots. Insanely easy, right? You can go to the hellish dimension right now. And you might think that the nether is useless, so you're just gonna skip going there. You may not have known that it is the only way to go to the end, which means that you can't kill the ender dragon, which means, finally, that you can't beat Minecraft. And you can't say you're the best pro without beating Minecraft. <laughs> it is one of the fastest ways to get XP, mining quartz. From just four of them, I went to level two. It is the easiest way to get blocks since you can instantly mine them with the efficiency two diamond pickaxe. All you have to do is a level eight enchant, which is eight levels, and I already got two of them, and a diamond pickaxe enchant it. If you get efficiency two, you can instantly mine netherrack. It is the only way to get essential potions, like ones that give you 18 regenerative hearts, and ones that basically add Sharpness 6 to your weapon. Overpowered, right? Finding iron is quite easy. All you have to do is find a surface cave and start mining the iron. To smelt the iron, you need some coal. So let's get some coal too. Then, smelt it in a furnace in the newly added campfire or smoker. Although smokers don't help mining iron faster, you can still use them. And although campfires, you can only smelt four items at a time, I guess you can still use them. You probably wouldn't have a blast furnace if you don't have iron first. Blast furnaces smell always quicker. Okay, so I have seven iron ingots. And I got XP too. So let's bring the furnace with me. I'm going to try to find a little a water source and a lava pool. Any source of lava won't work, but a lava pool will definitely work. So you should use one of the budgets to grab a water source. Yep, right there. So now I have a water bucket. And now you see there's a lava pool right here next to me. Use the second bucket to grab the lava. Now decide where you want the nether portal to be. So I'll just make it right here, I guess. So you want to place the lava and make sure you can hockey well. So I can hockey better on my two and three, so let's do that. Now once I place the lava bucket, I want to place the water bucket right next to it, okay? So, okay. And now I take the water back and I have obsidian. So now you can keep doing this until you have the shape of a nether portal, which is a two by three rectangle without the edges and there's nothing in the middle. So I have made the shape of a nether portal. Now, all I have to do is get a flint and steel and place it on the nether portal. And I can go to the nether. So there's some flint over here. So let's start mining it. So let's wait until we get a flint, I guess. Okay, I got a flint. I can craft a flint and steel. I have a flint and steel now, that's awesome. It is my path 
to go into the nether, guys. Let's place it. <gasps> I have another portal. Let's go through. Hopefully, a gas is instantly kill me. Oh, I got a pretty good spawn. Okay, let's go back. So we have made the nether portal. If you are this far in the video, you might have already started Minecraft and is getting ready to go to the nether. If you learned at least one thing today, if you haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment anything. So I guess bye bye.